Last night, the wife and I decided to leave the house for a little bit and go out and get a bite to eat and more importantly, play some pinball. So we went out to 417 Tap House here in Springfield, Missouri, which is their local bar. Very spacious place, got a full menu so you can get a bite to eat. They got drinks galore, so anything you're thirsty for, they'll definitely have something for you. But more importantly, we went there to play some pinball. They got lots of pinball machines, great little game room area in the back. They got a Valley Strikes and Spares. They got Stern's Avengers Infinity Quest. They got Terminator 2. And they got the brand new and the real reason we actually went out last night was to play Godzilla, the new Stern game. And then in the corner they had a Simpsons four-player arcade cabinet that was beyond repair and didn't appear to be looking uh, in, in a working order at all. And it really looked like it was been beaten up pretty good. And then they had a Pac-Man machine with a 60-in-1 board in there. First thing we did was play a couple of introductory games on Godzilla just to kind of get a sense for it because it's a brand new game. Just got delivered on Monday and probably one of the first places in the state of Missouri to actually get the game. Um, we tried to get the Insider Connect thing going on our phones and everything. Unfortunately, it looked like the operator, the owner of the Godzilla table, didn't connect it to the internet. So we weren't able to get on our phones and test out the new Insider Connected feature for the Stern machine. Again, Godzilla is the very first machine to come out with this from the factory. There'll be retro kits that you can put on your older machines if you want to do that um, to get access to those insider connected features. So didn't get to test that out. A little bit of a bummer, but my first impressions of the overall gameplay on Godzilla were fantastic. I mean, the game um, has flow out the wazoo. It's a Keith Elwin game, so it's got all sorts of great wire forms and ramps. And of course, his traditional upper flipper shot, which is really cool, but it is a very fast paced game. Um, your main objective, so to speak, is if you're trying to get multi-ball started, let's put it that way, is to knock down the building and get Godzilla multi-ball started, which is fun and very uh, rewarding because you get to hear not only um, the, the roar of Godzilla, but you also get to hear that classic Blue Oyster Cult Godzilla song, which is perfectly timed and themed with the multi-ball starting. So you shoot down that uh, the building up the middle a couple times after you lock it you get the three ball multi-ball for Godzilla multi-ball Everything is super fast-paced like I said if you're shooting that building just to get your lock and everything lit um, It'll shoot it right back down the middle at you So you got to be on your toes got to be ready to nudge side to side after the first couple of plays between my wife and I We both had a really good time playing this game went and got a bite to eat I had some stuffed mushroom appetizer that were great and then some chicken and waffles Wife got some fajita fries also great And then after we filled our bellies we went back and played some more pinball because we couldn't get enough of the new Godzilla machine Only real issue we had with the game wasn't actually with the game. It was actually with the surroundings there was a bright overhead light that was shining right down onto the flippers. It gave a lot of glare on the glass. It really kind of made it difficult to uh, get a sense for where the ball was going. So you definitely had to be sharp with your eyes and your flippers and everything like that because that ball was hard to see with that glare right above the flippers. Other than that, though, after a couple of games, we definitely got the hang of it. I ended up, since it a brand new game, I ended up getting the high score. Score one and score two. I'm sure those will get beat by the end of the weekend because, like I said, it's a brand new game. But it was nice to have that one brief moment in the sun where I got to be the top of the leaderboard. I bet we both played it probably 12 times each, and it was a fantastic time. Uh, got to learn the rule set a little bit, get to, you know, get a feel for the shots and everything, and it was a really, really good game. And I'll be the first to admit, Godzilla is obviously a little bit before my time. I'm of the younger generation, so Toho Godzilla specifically, uh, although I'm aware of its cultural significance and I've seen a few of the movies on the sci-fi channels at, you know, like Midnight or something like that, I don't really have this massive love or adoration for Godzilla as a whole. However, this game, even though I don't really have any sort of personal feelings or attachment to Godzilla, this game is fan-freaking-tastic. This is going to be an instant classic for a lot of people, specifically if you have any sort of adoration for Godzilla as a franchise, but I'm just gonna shut up, show you some raw cell phone footage we had playing these games, and it was a good time, and definitely check out Godzilla if it's in your area.